Good morning and welcome to Church at Home with Rachel for Wednesday, the 23rd of June. Today I would like to talk to you about the importance of recognizing that we are not the center of our own universes. Um, this this morning I'm a little under the weather. Yesterday I went and I got my my second flu or COVID shot, and I am I'm I can't believe it. I'm happy to say I got stuck with a needle. Um, I knew that after the first shot that I received back in the beginning of May, um, how I my body reacted then, and they anticipated that the second shot would hit a little harder, and they were not un incorrect. Um, so today, church at home, it might be all the church that gets done. <laughs> I had a bit of a rough night, but I've never been so happy to feel like I have the flu than I do today. You see, I know that because I got my flu shots, or my COVID shots, I should say, because I am now on the way to being fully fully immunized, um, I still have to wait. The, there seems to be... Um, a, a difference in opinion, it, it, 12 to 28 days. I'm going to head for the 28 days just to be safe. Um, that's what the military is saying to their folks, that it takes 28 days for that second shot to be fully fully on board. So um, that would drop me right in the middle of my holiday, so I don't mind that. But the idea that I would t t take this shot and, and feel the way I feel today, knowing, though, that it means that I can then get into the nursing homes to see people that I haven't had a chance to meet yet, that I can go to visit people in their homes, that other people can feel safe coming to church and worshiping with me because I did something as simple as get vaccinated. What an incredible gift it is, isn't it? Yesterday I talked about about God, God's voice speaking everything into being, the miracle of creation when he said, let there be light. Part of that let there be light means that we have the evolution of of science, our understanding, not that we have we have created and evolved science, but that we have been opened up to this incredible gift of the world that includes the science that God created. Every tiny little bit of science that is out there, every quark, every atom, subs, every subatomic particle, every light wave, and 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 everything that there is. God first created and then gave us the intellect and the curiosity and the desire to discover it, to uncover these miracles that are out there. And these miracles that are out there, these uncovering, these discoveries, allow us to know that, that we don't have to have polio anymore. And we can, we can stop our children from getting measles, mumps, and rubella. That smallpox is not going to wipe out whole groups of people anymore. It's incredible, isn't it? The, the the things that we can live our lives and do simply because we get a shot. Every year, I go out and I get my flu shot every fall. That flu shot keeps me from getting sick. Um, I've never had an adverse reaction to the flu shot, but it keeps me from getting the flu later on. I might get a little bit of the flu or something, you know, a variant, but I am not so 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 knocked out that I'm out for days or I'm, you know, in the hospital or anything like that. It also means then that I'm not carrying that flu to someone who could for whom it could be really a tragic um a, a circumstance. Sorry, dude's having a little hairball moment here. By getting my COVID vaccination, I am not simply doing it for myself. Of course, it is for me. I don't want to get COVID. I don't want to get sick. And being able to, you know, take one day where I feel like death warmed over, knowing and knowing that I cleared my schedule and I made sure that, you know, there's nothing taxing happening today, knowing that for one simple day, I need to take it easy and stay home and stay warm and stay, stay hydrated means that for the rest of of my year, the rest of my, you know, of this, this pandemic, I am then able to help other people and to keep them from getting sick. That is an incredible gift in and of itself. The same thing with our flu shots. As a priest, if I want to go into the hospital or the nursing homes, if I want to go see my elderly folks in their own homes, I need to get my flu shot. It's not about me. 
It's about the people that God has, has placed in my care. It's about my responsibility, my stewardship of the community around me. And I'm really wondering if, if our society has gotten so stuck on the me, me, me thing that they've forgotten about the us, us, us thing. I was at the pharmacy yesterday getting my, my flu shot and there was a young lady there who's, she's pregnant and one of the people asked her, if, oh, are you, you know, are you allowed to get a flu shot when you're pregnant? And she's like, I'm not getting a flu shot. And she began talking about how this is just another way that the government has to track us with our cell phones and satellite and all of this stuff. And, and what went from being a relatively benign conversation about among people about, you know, calving and how things are going and, and pregnancies, we ended up in this with a bunch of people who seemed really level-headed, all there to get their, their COVID shots, all jumping on the bandwagon, the paranoia bandwagon about the government's trying to track us and that they're using our cell phones and satellites to know exactly where we are all the time. And she was arguing that this is why she's not getting uh, a vaccination because this is just one more way the government's telling her what to do and they're going to track her with this. I don't know whether she thought they were going to implant a tracking device. I don't know. But it really struck home to me how how very close we are to a society that can be tipped over the edge to paranoia because they feel like they are personally being threatened. We had this this conversation about children and farming and you know generic wonderful beautiful things happening and with one comment about a covid vaccination being one way more one more way to track a person which i don't believe it is came this this group of people who seemed really rational all talking about how they talk turn off their cell phones and they they you know they're trying they would like to go off the grid because they hate the idea that that the prime minister can track them wherever they are i i kind of I'm thinking like who are you you think you're worthy of being tracked <laughs> are you some kind of na national secret like, what's so interesting about your life that you're so worried that somebody's actually going to, out of the millions and millions of Canadians, the billions of people on the planet, pick, pinpoint you to be the person who's going to be tracked? And for what purpose? What purpose? Are you not paying your taxes? I don't know. But it really brought home to me. I was driving home. I went to Vermilion for my shot, so it's about 40 minutes away. And I was driving home, and I turned off the radio because I was really really perplexed by this and thinking our society has become so wrapped up in our own stuff that we don't recognize that there's somebody other than, than the me, that there's a reason that getting a COVID vaccination is not in the end about me. It's about you. It's about everybody I run into, that I'm not going to make you sick. I'm not going to pass on to you something unwittingly, never on purpose, of course, but unwittingly pass on to, to you something that could make you sick or put you in hospital or, or cause your death. By getting a vaccination, not only am I protecting myself and I'm protecting you, but I'm helping to, to create that world in which we get to come out of our homes and go out to restaurants and concerts and golf courses and to do the things that make us feel like we're part of society. But society equals more than just me. And it's not just a collection of me's, all of the individuals. It's a collection of people who are looking out for one another. I'm, I'm really bothered by this this idea that it's all about me. And I, and I don't think this young woman was of a younger generation that, that lately... Um, my, as an older generation, about to turn older tomorrow, um, has sort of looked at the, the me generation. You know, it's not that, because they couldn't become the me generation if we hadn't helped them. We have contributed, those of us who are older, have contributed in some way, shape, or form to helping them think that really this is all about them. And for the most part, we haven't done a very good job of not jumping on the bandwagon with them. We are so focused on what is all about us, me, I, myself, that we haven't been paying attention to the yous, to those other people out there with whom God has given us creation to share in stewardship, to share in hope and joy, to share in the good news that Jesus has come for all of us. For me, 
and for you, but for all of us. So as we, as we continue to get our immunizations done, and as we continue to look forward to and work toward reopening our communities, I pray that you would give some thought and some prayer to how you and the people around you might consider, after a year and a half of thinking and being by yourself, how we might learn how to be together again, how we might learn to drop the I, me, myself words and look to you, community, outreach, family, those words that take us out of ourselves and back into relationships with others. Whether or not you decide to get your your vaccination is up to you. For your sake, I hope you do. For the sake of those around you, I hope that you do. But at greater strength, at greater stakes, I think, is what our society will look like if we simply only look at ourselves. We won't last very long if we only look out for number one. So let's look out for each other. And hopefully tomorrow on the 24th, on Thursday, I will be feeling a little bit better. <laughs> I probably will be. And I'll be a bit more up <laughs> and able to tackle the day. But God bless you. Go get your vaccination or at least get your appointment made and, and take good care of yourself. And as you do so, recognize that in taking care of yourself, you're helping to take care of others. We're all in this together. So have a great day. Be safe. Be healthy. Make sure you pray for your community and your family and your friends, your, your neighbors. God bless you. And I will see you tomorrow for Church at Home with Rachel on Thursday.